There's absolutely no reason why we should believe that Trump is not the one behind the false flag. I know that's going to come to a shock to many people because they are such supporters of Trump beyond all reasoning, beyond all the fact that he is a Mason, beyond all the fact that they willfully want to close their eyes to the truth that he is part of the globalistic Masonic agenda. And he takes both sides of every issue. And as we've talked about in our last video, he brings in the globalists to the White House, the ones who actually created ISIS and facilitated all the deceptions with the Democrat. He has been known to be a Democrat plant, a closet Democrat that is really disguising himself as a nationalistic Republican. And in this video, we're going to do a little bit more investigation. We're going to connect some dots here so that you can see what is really going on. But the first thing I want to show you and help expand your mind and thinking about is, as it says here on the Drudge headline, after there's a false flag, what do you see? What do you see? You see the president comes out and he begins to comfort the survivors and thank the police. Uh, clearly here he's thanking the police because the police department in Las Vegas is not coming out and speaking the truth. They are paid federal government agents. And you remember what they do. This is the classic scenario. The classic scenario. The very ones running the false flag come out and start fake comforting everyone, right? They start telling us that we're under mourning and America's under mourning and we will not be divided and they are the ones behind the false flag. Look at the image here of Bush. Remember him and Dick Cheney were the ones behind 9-11. And these hypocrites trained in deception and Masonic lying come out of their caves of wickedness to front their lying deceptions with the people. And this is exactly what you're getting with Trump. This is exactly what you're getting with Trump. Now, he comes out, he meets with the people, and he stands with the police. These people right here that are hiding the true evidence of what's going on. These paid mind control slave shields that are paid by the central banking fraud to continue the deception and the mind control. All of it. And, you know, all they care about is making sure they have a job and feeding their bellies and at your expense of deceiving you. All these Masonic proxies here. So he comes and then he goes. And as we documented, this guy is a Mason right over here. He doesn't become sheriff unless he's a Mason of Las Vegas. Now, it's important for you to understand that the Mandalay Bay Hotel and the Luxor Casino Hotel, right, where it is a giant initiation temple, is not too far just down the Highway 15 to the Trump International Hotel Las Vegas. And it has been documented by the Masonic media itself, because they have to come out and tell you, that Sheldon the Sabbatean Adelson met with Trump amid Las Vegas shooting aftermath. He met with Trump? How is this when Trump has just recently, October 4th, showed up in Las Vegas? He was in Puerto Rico the day after the event. But here they're telling us that casino mogul Adelson met with Trump hours after Las Vegas shooting. Pre-arranged meeting with the Sabbatean Jew here, the Masonic Sabbatean Jew, pre-arranged meeting was to review policy, but also looked at ways to help victims of massacre. Oh, review Masonic policy, huh? The agenda of globalistic Masons who support the Sabbatean fake ISIS agenda in the Middle East. Now, know if this video ever gets taken down, it is because Edifying Others was the one who exposed the fakery of ISIS in the very beginning in 2014. 
And they know that I see right through all their lies. And they know I can explain it to you accurately and properly on what's really going on. That's why they censor edifying others. That the deception of the presidential casino mogul, Donald Trump, with his connections and his pre-arranged meetings indicate, for all intents and purposes, that he knows and is aware of the deception going on behind what happened in Las Vegas. And here's another connection. Look at the Mandalay Bay Hotel in Las Vegas. It's part and owned and operated by MGM Resorts International. Now pay particular close attention to this. MGM Resorts International, its CEO, Chairman of the Board CEO is James J. Murren. He is the current CEO of MGM Resorts International. And James Murren is a member of the National Infrastructure Advisory Council under Trump. Here it is. So there's a direct line correlation to Mandalay Bay, MGM Resorts, and the Trump administration. That runs the false flag. We have to say it the way it is. Here you have the direct connection. The guy that actually is the CEO of the MGM Resorts is part of the Trump administration. So you wonder why Alex Jones and his guests are saying, uh, acting ignorant and saying, well, the police department and the sheriff's department are not actually coming out and saying who's behind it. Though they are hinting and now they're saying that he did not act alone, but the police and the sheriff's department were just asking questions, right? So the investigation is going on, but the real investigation on who's the Las Vegas Mafia. Here you have another one. He owns the actual hotel also in Las Vegas. The actual MGM Hotel and Casino International Resorts was started by this guy right here. And he's a big time Las Vegas mafioso. So there's your line of connection right into the Trump administration via this guy, James Murren. Now, pay particular close attention to this video right here. Kelly and Conway and MGM Resorts CEO throw down back in September 27, 2016. You see, the controlled opposition, they wanted you to think that he was not part of the agenda that's going on, but... Here you see, before the election, they were sort of like enemies. Now he's literally on the National Infrastructure Advisory Council. But look at here. There are two candidates running for office that you saw on the stage last night, Andrew. Only one of them has pocketed millions upon millions upon millions in speech fees from Wall Street and from the big banks. And by the way, you know, we, can't I, even, we don't even know what she said there. I suspect we know. Does that answer your question, Andrew? Yeah, it, it does. It didn't because answer mine because I'm a CEO that actually creates jobs. Yeah, you're the CEO that's behind the Mandolin Bay where the false flag was, right? Uh, that's the reality of the situation. Look at them all here sitting at their table. There's the two controlled opposition. And Trump... Brings him in, even though he's arguing with Kellyanne Conway back on September 27th. This is a CNBC actual YouTube channel, right? So this is not somebody else uploading the video with a different time stamp, date stamp. But this is actually them arguing, him saying he doesn't support Trump. Listen. That is going to create Why hasn't she financial done it? stability. She's not the president of the United States. Oh my goodness, she's been in all... He was a Hillary supporter, but why does Trump bring in a Hillary supporter to be the head of the National Infrastructure Advisory Council, right? This guy right here. When before he was supporting Hillary, this is why I tell you, he brings in the globalists. He is a globalist. He brings in all the fraud. He is behind the Las Vegas shooting, along with the rest of the hierarchy and the controlled opposition Masons. They're all in on the fraud. It is global masonry and the Illuminati working hand in hand, the Illuminati being like the Rothschilds, 
you know, everything, the Sabbateans, the whole cult. And it's all one big conglomeration of the cult that hijacked the world and runs the false flag on their fake media. So this is their fake media where they pretend act that they're controlled opposition, right? One says he controls the dialogue and the narrative for Hillary and the other one for Trump, but yet in the end, they come and all work together, right? He brings in Goldman Sachs into the White House, the globalists, they're all there, and there's no difference with this guy that's actually literally the CEO of MGM Resorts International. And that's why this is all being covered up at the Mandalay Bay Resort. That's why there's a big cover-up on all this, and you will never know the truth. They will never come out and tell you the truth. They will just string you along, telling you, now, now, we are here to comfort you. Uh, we're going to fight the invented mythological creatures, the enemies, and we're going to censor everyone that is not going along with our fraud, but the truth is going to come out because they are not above investigation and above the truth. So there you have another direct line again to the Trump administration. Mandalay Bay, MGM Resorts, James Murion is on the Trump National Infrastructure Advisory Council. So you wonder why they're having meetings with Sheldon Adelson and the actual headlines say that, you know, this was a pre-planned meeting to discuss policy. Well, what is the policy? The policy is the fraud of Masonic globalism and what their agenda is and what the hierarchy is telling them they have to do. And we have yet to see if there's going to be a bigger false flag with North Korea or Iraq, Iran, anyone else, right? So keep your eyes open because Trump is the one who is behind the false flags. We can blame Obama, but they're all together, right? Trump is covering for Obama's fake birth certificate, and he covers for Hillary, says she's a wonderful person after she says she needs to go to prison. But when he comes in, what does he do? He covers for her. And that is because they're all Masons. They have to protect each other's death oaths and obligations to each other that they swore. And the only people they care about is themselves. And it is exactly why we reported on what's going on being that this is a total fraud. This guy right here, agent, right? Working for the FBI, the very FBI in the Trump administration. And isn't it interesting that right now, it's October when this false flag happens in Las Vegas, and the 9-11, to empower the Bush fraud, Bush-Cheney, New World Order, Bilderberg fraud, order of death, skull and bones, isn't it interesting this happened in September, right? So it's about nine to ten months, and they hit you with the false flag to empower their agenda. The very thing we just talked about in the re-upload of the latest video we just re-uploaded to remind you that they told us there was coming a false flag. And here we are, 10 months, very similar to how they're running the script of comfort the people and declare war against the enemy, and they are the ones that are running the false flag. Remember, it is those who are in power that run the false flag against the people. This is what you have to remember. Those who are in power are the ones who run the false flags. Why should we believe that technically, on a technical basis, that Obama and Hillary, who really don't have the power, right, even though you could say this guy's been yoked up with them, Trump has, and of course Pence is a New World Order pawn, why should we believe that it was solely Obama or Hillary's group and them and not the whole Masonic agenda? Well, that's what it is. It is the whole Masonic agenda until people don't wake up to that they will be deceived. And the Masons control this whole Las Vegas area. There's no doubt about it. Again, that's why they have their big initiation temple, the Luxor Hotel there. And this happened with the connecting to the Mandalay Bay right there. And we want to believe that Trump is not involved in this, then that is pure naivete, naivete, if you believe that Trump is not involved in this and covering. It's running like the script exactly how all false flags come out right they want to tell you now they're coming out and they're actually beginning to comfort the people and you see all the fraud the frauds you know it's basically like they close their eyes to all the fraud because they are frauds and they get the pass from the masonic hierarchy these low-level mind control slaves because 
They sell their souls out for mammon worship. Uh, somebody said to me, you know, the word uh, mammon, or it's actually pronounced mamon, means sucker in Spanish. Yeah, they're truly suckers for mind control. There's no doubt about it. Uh, mamon is all the way, big time. And everyone involved in closing their eyes, you're nothing but mamon is. That's all. You're suckers for deception, suckers for your mind control, suckers for your idiocy, suckers for being duped. Suckers, suckers, suckers is what you are. And edifying others is trying to help you. Because edifying others wants to get you out of being a sucker in your mind control. And the only one that can take you out of that is the gospel of Jesus Christ that edifying others preaches to you. That is believing the gospel, which causes you to have eternal life. The light of God enters your mind, and he begins exposing all the lies for you. He does it for you. The Holy Spirit will do it for you, will bring you light, the pure light of truth to your mind. And help you understand who are the frauds of the day. Until next time, remember, Trump has a hotel right in the same area down the highway from where the fraud actually happens. So the connections are all here. I wanted to present this little evidence. Trump with his Sabbatean daughter, Ivanka, married to the Jew, producing Sabbatean children. That's the truth, the hard truth about it. No one has talked about yoked up with all these Sabbatean Jews, yoked up with, as we reported, and showed the pictures of Benjamin Netanyahu, definitely, definitely a liar-in-chief. No different than Obama, covering up for the same fraud. And let's see, let's see, Trump, if you're going to step up to the plate. I don't think you will. I don't think you really care for the American people. As a matter of fact, I think you pulled off this false flag. And that's why I'm exposing you, because no one is above the New Testament, neither you or anyone else, with their lies. So that's a personal message to Donald Trump if he's listening. And anyone else, you better repent from all your Gnosticism because the biblical minister loves your soul. May not love your flesh as much as you want it to be worshipped, but loves your soul and doesn't want to see you burning in hell because you do not understand the great ignorance you're involved in. Till next time, this has been another video by Edifying Others, exposing the connections here and exposing the fact that uh, they do have meetings before their false flags. And this tells you everything. This tells you everything. They're all in on the fraud, these Sabbatean Masons, and it is a Sabbatean Roman Catholic Masonic deception, again, pulled off by these degenerates in the mystery religions. They have to repent, or the flames of eternal fire await them. Until next time, this has been Edifying Others giving you another report here. Please support the ministry this month. We are below budget right now, and we need your support. To continue on. Until next time, God bless you in the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name.